Yes. <sighs> yeah, boy. Special place. We, we've been here a bunch. Good. How many times you been here, Canterbury? Four or five. Four or five. Four. I fished my first Bassmaster. One of my the first years I fished Bassmaster back in the day, dude. I fished here, and it's when it had grass. It had high drill in twenty feet of water. Really? And it was in the fall. That's when it was really good. Wasn't yeah. And the guy won the tournament. I can't remember who it was. He won the tournament. He didn't have a limit. It was terrible fishing for whatever reason. Fall. He won the tournament in this creek. No, in uh, in Bear. On the buzz bait. It's only had four fish a day, but they were big ones. And I finished fourth or fifth way up the river throwing little shad wraps and stuff on do nothing banks. I bet you nobody wins this one without a limit every day. I know. I know. It's it's gonna be good. It's gonna be good. We fished two what two cups here? I think two forest wood yeah. cups. Three. Three forest wood cups. Two or three, yeah, three. So now we're here, Bassmaster Elite, third stop of the season. For the 2023 season we're at lake murray south carolina i tell you this lake is is really turning into something pretty special there's herring on the lake so these bass have been feeding on these herring for about 10 years now and they have just they've gotten healthy they're they're thick there's a lot of them it's just a dang good lake and it, it sets it sets up well you know today uh if you watch the practice video you kind of know what what to expect with this this event there's gonna be a lot of fish caught sight fishing some 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 schooling fish. That's about all I've got going on. I'm sure Canterbury's got a few other little tricks up his sleeve with some dock fishing and stuff like that. But day one, this is it right here, guys. So I invite you to watch this video. Um, it's going to be a lot of fish caught this one. It's going to be unlike the classic where it was hard to even get a bite. This is this is going to be this is going to be a lot of fish caught. So buckle up, grab you a little cup of coffee or Red Bull or something, because uh, it's going to be a good one. It's going to be a sack fest this week. This lake's fishing really good gonna take a lot of weight to do well um, you know upper teens is the mark anything over 20 is a bonus not gonna be satisfied I don't think you're gonna be real happy with yourself if you come in with less than 15 pounds so um, we're gonna go out there and uh, we're gonna run some points in the morning and maybe look at a few sight fish late today and hopefully around about 18 to 20 pounds the lake has got a lot of fish in it everybody's gonna catch fish uh, they're not super easy to catch like the big ones are not super easy to catch so uh, trying to stay mentally focused and and fish for those big ones is going to be the key this week and getting you know five of them in the boat so uh, it's pretty tough like everybody's you know see some on bed and you can go catch some two pounders but those big ones are hard to catch there's a lot of big ones out there we're going to try to grind it out we're going to try to take our time see if we can't catch five of those big ones we're going to you know we're not going to just go catch five two pounders off the bed that's game that's b game plan b if something everything goes haywire but we're gonna try to catch those big ones on the points and uh, see if we can't get five of them to bite. All right, guys, here we go. Blasting off day one of the tournament. Let's go do this thing. You ready, Ryan? Let's do it. All right. <laughs> day one, Bassmaster. Bass Starts right now. The Marathon Bassmaster Elite at Lake Murray.
There he is. I don't know. I don't know what it is. It's big though. Might be a striper. I don't know, dude. Feels like a bass. Oh yeah, now a striper. Dang it. I was like, what the heck? That's how they're supposed to eat it though. Come on, dude. But it's a, it's a necessary evil. You know, they they um they stock stripers in this lake, which you know you catch that fish and you're like, oh man, dang striper. But you know what the striper guides use for bait? Herring. And the herring's what make the big bass big, or the largemouth big in this lake. That's what's really turned this fishery into a fantastic largemouth fishery. So it's a necessary evil. Because we complain about ah stripers, which I know there's a lot of good striper fishermen out there, a lot of people that love striper fishing, but we like the stripers in lakes because of the herring. They're laying up there. I can see them on the graph. I can see them laying up there. Little one. He's little, but he's strong. What's the length limit here on this lake? Do you know? 14. He's 14. The littlest one in the school, <laughs> but it's it's about two pounds more than I had a minute ago. Finding something that they'll bite when they won't come up and crush is is a big deal, and they're very picky. So it's not like they just bite anything. Oh, there's a four. There's look at that five. I can't turn him. He was coming at me the whole time. Dude, I cannot turn this dude. He's mad, bro. Probably gonna have to come back there. Oh, that's a big one, dude. That's like a five. Oh my gosh. Yes, yes, that's what's in that school, bro. It fell out, bro. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Bro. <laughs> That's a big one. That's a big one. Dude, it fell out. Thank you, Lord. I don't deserve that. Oh, if he'd have jumped one more time, he'd have come off. He'd have come off. <laughs> okay. That felt good. That felt really, really, really good, man. Thank you, Lord. Dude, that fish would have came off, bro. It, like, I touched it, it fell out. It was just pinned in his, in his jaw.
Okay. He might have been up there trying to eat that one. The other one. That might have been bait. Oh! Oh my God. Believe it or not, when they bust, it's not easy to catch them, dude. Like you would think it's the opposite. Like you think you would just throw in there and automatically catch everything. Is that mostly striper that are busted? No, there's, there's stripers probably mixed like in here. Those are largemouth up there. There's a 50, there's 54 pounders here, dude. Honestly. There we go. Oh. That's 
not them begging. Oh, pound and three quarter, I guess. Okay. I see them up there now. Oh, a bunch of them. There he is. Gosh. Thank you, Trouble. Trouble. Thank you, Trouble. Good deal. Little stinger hook got him. All right. Okay. Good little stop. Good little stop. Three pounder. Maybe we can catch a couple of these. Thank you, Lord. There's a dude in that boat? Yeah, there's a dude in that boat. Got her, got her, got her. Freaking came off, I had her in the mouth, I swear I did. Now she's freaking hooked in the belly. Right there. She had it one hook in her mouth. She came up and bit it. She's garden fry. She's not as big as I thought, anyways. Decent fish. I think he's close to three pounds. I think. He's pretty deep. Almost bit it. Almost bit it. She charged it. Oh, she bit. Oh, God, she chucked. Did you see her? Crushed it. It's not biting it though. Mmm, she had it. Oh, dang it. Okay. Okay. So, I have no idea what my smallest fish is, but I should just start tossing them. Not that big, but 
much bigger than what I got. He's skinny, man. Look how long he is. I thought he was a three pounder. Yep, boom. He's gonna be close. 213. 213. All right, that's five. Barely inside the mouth. All right. Now I'm calling. Yes. All right. <laughs> Bigger than that. Was he a two pounder? That's the male. Face. Dang, spear point hook. Get some, son. That's the one we needed right there. Boom! I'm a three even. Three even. what that's I'm the, talking that's about. The one that you that's the one we've been looking for. Yeah, she's there. Good, good, good. Thank you. I don't think she's as big as I thought, though. She's not bad, though. I don't know. It's hard to tell. Ooh, she's about to eat it right now. ready oh gosh Right at three, two and three quarters. Right close to three, actually. Okay, so that's a lemon. Just frustrated. That is just, and in tournaments like this, it's okay. We're gonna have a great day. Tournaments like this, where everybody's doing a lot of the same thing, 
it's all about rotation. So at some point we're gonna line up with a good rotation. And let's go do that. I think it's on a bed right there. Definitely doing something. Yeah. Looks like a, like a, I mean, I, I, that looks like a over three to me. Oh yeah, oh yeah, that's a big one, dude. And it's deep. All over it, please bite it. Can we just, can we make up some ground here and just catch this one quick, please? Oh. I just got a shirt. I just got a good drop shot or something, dude. Out in the lake or something. I, I just, I must not. Over, over age, I'm just not. I'm so cut out for this, dude. I'm just going to have to go out in the lake and just, just, just drag Carolina rigs or something, dude. <laughs> I mean, it's just like way, way easier, less stressful and everything, dude. This is just like, oh, oh, God dang it, dude. Come on, man. Seriously. She's running up on it hard, dude. Oh, okay. She bit it though. She didn't have it. Oh, she. Oh, you oh, unbelievable, dude. Wow, these are tough, bro. Challenging. Challenging. Oh, my mother. Dude, seriously? What, what, why, why? What, what is going on here? I mean, I don't miss them that many times, dude. Okay. It's biting it. I'm setting the hook and it's like coming off every freaking time. It's not like it's, it's, a, I mean, he's biting it. He's yeah. swimming with it. I, I'm, dude, I, I guess I gotta leave. I gotta come back or something, because it's done. She's really, really, uh, acting right. So mad, dude. Please come on, dude. What is going on here? Ah. Uh, Made up some ground. I gets rid of a two pounder. I don't have to weigh this when it weighs 3.7 because I caught it in practice. Thank you, baby. That's a call, dude. That's a call. That's a call. Okay. Make sure I got five, right? One, two, three. That helped me by like two and a half pounds. That's a good call. Did that, 
that's the craziest fish because when I found that fish in practice, I was on the phone with Canterbury. Maybe mad actually. And I'm like, yeah, I think that's like a two pounder, dude. It's skinny. It's kind of like, I'm gonna catch it just to see. Maybe it's a two and a half. So I catch it, a three seven. I'm like, I mean, that thing's in six inches of water. Normally when they're shallow, they don't, you know, you can tell three seven. So then I'm like, oh my gosh. So we caught it. That's good. Most people have been out there. Bite. I pulled off. Dang it, dude. Got it. Say, feeling good, feeling great. Not a worry in sight, and I can't complain. Don't rain on my parade. Celebration over here, all the clouds go away. About time for us to shine. I don't know about you but I need all of mine. Till then, just unwind. Ain't nothing going on, but it's good all the time. Say, hop out the bed and turn. Tomorrow, let's bring out a two time FLW tour winner from Shelby, North Carolina. Get loud for Team Toyota's Matt Airy. Hot fish for Matt Airy here today. 16 pounds and 9 ounces. He moves into 7th place currently with 16 and 9. Decent start to things, but even early in the way. And you know, man, it's, it's got to get better than that. As shocking as that would seem. Yeah, these are probably... Uh... Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and say they're the most educated bass in the country. I, uh, it's just frustrating the way you fish these points and then you roll up on them and then you just eyes come out of your head because there's 25 pounds sitting there and you just can't catch them. So uh, very conditional uh, fishing. Uh, you know, I'm, I'm running around rotating through a lot of points. Uh, did a little bit of sight fishing today just because of the conditions. Uh, maybe if the wind will pick up, you know, some clouds will roll in. I think this fish might activate a little bit. But we threw everything in the tackle box and did some at them today and we're going to do it again tomorrow and hopefully we can wrangle up about 20 pounds yourself inside the top 50 we'll stick around with you on the weekend yeah, at 16 and a half 16 nine something like that probably gonna be roughly in the middle of the pack they absolutely crushed them today I knew they would um, it's gonna take over 30 pounds I think to make it to day three so we got to figure out what to do tomorrow um, you know we need to catch up 15 16 pounds tomorrow to have a shot to uh, to keep fishing in this dirt because uh, the fish are biting and I want to keep fishing so um, do all we can tomorrow to try to wrangle up a big bag. Let's drink to our next angler, a nine-time FLW winner, former Force One Cup champions, Martin. I fished here today for Scott Martin. You, you give me knuckles, right? See? Yeah, well, talk to Mark Fraser's son, hates my guts. I fished here today, 16 pounds, 13 ounces, puts him in 32nd place. 16, 13, so a decent day, but it's going to be so close with that uh, top 50 tomorrow. This place has got them. I mean, it's, I mean, it, we all kind of knew that it was going to probably take 30 pounds to make the cut, but then after the last day of practice, we started saying, dude, it might take 32. I mean, like, Warm it's up. that good. I mean, the conditions are perfect. There's just so many three pounders in here. I tell you, you know, a herring lake like we have here is, is what makes this lake so good. Those bass have eaten here over the years and have just gotten so big. It's done a really a good thing for them. So any of these lakes that, you know, we just need to put more hair in these lakes because it really turns the bass fishery into a fantastic fishery. Fantastic fishery. Look forward to seeing how you do tomorrow. Keep it rolling. All right, 16, 13. Uh, they're smashing them. I don't even know what to say. We knew this was going to happen. I think it's going to take 32 pounds to make the cut. I need to catch this, at least this tomorrow to make the cut. But if I'm, if I'm going to have a chance at this thing, I need, to, I need to step it up. I think Canterbury had a good day from what I've gathered. I don't know what he weighed in yet. I think Matt got a 
pretty good bag from what I've heard. So let's bring out a former progressive Bassmaster Angler of the Year from Alabama, hot off a third place finish at the Bassmaster Classic, Scott Canterbury. Five fish for Scott Canterbury here on day number one. 19 pounds, six ounces, moves into 20th place currently. Six pounds, three ounces short of the overall lead. Uh, a decent start to things, man, but this lake is showing up. This lake is unbelievable, I tell you. You know, I had a pretty good day and thought I might, you know, because I don't have, I don't know what I got left or anything, but I thought I could go catch some tomorrow and make the cut. But man, you got to stand on them every day. This place is awesome. It was a lot of fun. I can't wait to get out there tomorrow. Uh, looking forward to it. Hopefully we can catch five more good ones tomorrow. We'll get Rick, we'll see you back here tomorrow morning. You know, day one uh, went really good. Had 19.6, so uh, we're in the middle of things. So hopefully we can go out and catch five more tomorrow. It's not easy. It's a grind. Took me all day to do it, but uh, looking forward to getting out there tomorrow. Maybe we can get five more. Tomorrow drops up. Yeah, yeah, that'll work. But listen, I cut that one, and then I weighed it, and I said, I got like 19 pounds. I said, That's good. I said, I'll have to catch like 11 or 12 tomorrow, and I'll make the cut. <laughs> oh, I gotta like, catch like 15 or 16. No, you need like 15 at least. <laughs> Maybe 15. <laughs> <laughs> at least 15. Uh, uh, it'll take 34. I gotta have 15 at least. I mean, I need, this 20, place pounds. I need 20 pounds just to get in a good position. Right. Like a decent position, not to, not well, to make 17 a of them today. I'm gonna catch 20 pounds tomorrow. I mean, well, what'd y'all do? Yeah. Like, did anybody figure out anything nope. about how to catch the bass on the nope. points that nope. you hey, could? I got luck. I didn't mean, I got fortunate, blessed. I had like 13 pounds and I pulled up on one I had marked. And Early? I thought, no, it's like 10 o'clock or 11 o'clock. One I pulled up, I was gonna bed fish. I said, I'm gonna go catch a few. And it's like a, I thought it's like a three, three and a quarter, four pounder. Pull up there, boy. They're paired up. Oh. I backed up when I went to fishing. She'd swim off, and I'd fish for him. She'd swim back up there and mess with him. I'd, she'd swim off. I'd mess with him. It took me about 20 minutes, dude. I caught him. 354. The buck? Yeah. I called, put him in there, and I called. Looked up there, and she was like. How big was she? About five minutes, 476. So you called a, you had a four something on a point. Two good ones off the bed. He caught four and a half on the point this evening, and he caught a four and a half off the bed. Four and three quarter. Four and three quarter. And then right. you had a. And then <clears throat> I pull up on McCoy's over there, and I pull up on a place one's on bed, dude. I look up there, dude. When I'm going up there, and a freaking one like this big swims off. He's that wide, like six pounder. I said, God Almighty. I said, dude, I got like 17. Miles. I said, I'll fish for this fish for the rest of the day. It's like 11 o'clock. Yeah. I fish up there. And it's wild, like it would swim from here to that freaking float out there, dude, and come back. I mean, like, you could see it. It'd swim all, all over the place, crazy. The buck would stay up there. I went around this way and got with the sun behind me, so I was hoping it would couldn't see me, you know, and I got a, I ran my boat up on the bank and put my poles down, and I'd make a cast, like, from here to way down there. Yeah. Fish up there, that boy, she'd swim off. I'd fish up there, and she'd swim off. Finally, they were both up there on the bed, dude, and I'm sitting there shaking it, and he goes, and I said, dang, one of them's got it. I'm, I'm like, yes. And they <laughs> both swim off, and I said, dude, one of them's got uh, it. And I sat the hook, and it's the buck. Oh, my gosh. 215. <clears throat> I had a three-pounder. I had a three-pounder, but I had a three-one was my smallest one. Oh. I threw the three-one back and kept the 215, hoping she would lock on, and she didn't. She didn't. <laughs> <laughs> so you weighed that 215? No, I called it with that one this evening. Oh, okay. It was still my smallest so one. So what, your other one's off the bed? Yeah. So I ran hand points this morning, I caught 10 pounds, and I caught like 10 fish. Really? Caught 10 pounds. I oh caught 10 pounds. And they were blowing up, dude. I got two or three places in here blowing up everywhere. I caught 14 pounds with two fish, but they were strappers. Strippers. I don't know. So you I got, started in here? Yeah, I got one place right around the corner. There's 25 pounds sitting on I ain't caught one there since the first day of practice. Get up, 
Let's go. That's the 20 pound. That's the 20 pound dinner bell. Now, you jumped. It didn't scare me. I mean, Matt's been up since like four. I know. That's what I thought you were up too. I, mean, I have been up. I've been up the whole time. I hear Matt walking around. I know. 4:30 in the morning. He's up. I was like, well, they, they're all out there getting ready to leave. Yeah. Dude, I'm dumbfounded with the weights. Like, kind of disheartening. 16 and a half pounds and you're in like, I think I'm eight places out of the cut. Eight places. Eight places out of the cut. With 16 and a half pounds. Rack your brain trying to figure out how to catch 18 instead of 16. It's almost like a St. Lawrence River all over again because uh, when you catch 20 pounds of air and you're in 60th place, it's just pretty similar on a lower scale. Yeah, because it's weird to sit there and it's hard to say to yourself, okay, I gotta go catch, um, I had a good day, but I gotta go catch 19. I gotta go catch 18 pounds. Yeah. Hey, wait, what do you do? We gotta get over 34 pounds of break. So that's uh for me that's 17 and a half, for you that's 17. Yeah. And a quarter, whatever. That's you think of it there's no way to drop, right? The weights drop? Yeah. No, I don't think so. It's too many three power in here. Yeah. I mean 75th place is almost 15 pounds. That's why I won't drop. Yeah. Some of those guys catch 17 and, you know, hey, I mean, if it drops, dude, it's going to be like. There's no reason for it to drop. Other 33. Than... Like, you double the weights now, it's like 34.2 to make right. the cut. All right. Get, get our marshal. See if I can get on that dock there. Let's see. How you doing, sir? I'm fine. I bet you. I'm good. What's your first name again? David. David, it's a pleasure. We're gonna, we're gonna turn you into a cameraman today. I got my camera, you can point it at me and film some. We'll put your credits at the end of the show. Support camera by David. Day two, guys. This is a weird, it's a weird feeling. Like this like fish is so good that, you know, like any other tournament, you go out and you, and you, and you don't catch a good bag and you're in the 55th place and you say to yourself, man, I really stink, man, I'm not catching them at all. I don't have it figured out. And at this one, it's like, oh no, I've got it figured out. I caught 17 pounds. I'm in 55th place. It's like everybody did good. It's just who did a little bit better. Everybody did. I mean, 75th place is 15 pounds. That's good, that's a good day. And that's a good, even though Murray's showing out and it's a good lake right now, and, and it's putting out way above average type weight, that being said, it is, it is, this is still, we're, we're catching them. It's in an everyday situation. The stars have lined up right, things are just right. So, we gotta put together 17 and a half. Might be able to squeak in, I just need 18. If I wanna have a chance of winning this thing, I need to catch mid-20s, 22, 23, which can happen. I had that the first day of practice, so why not? Hey, thank you. Hey, good job on those photos. I'm liking your stuff. Thank you. Thank you. 3.30? Thank you. All right, let's get this going, David. Let's have a good day, David. I need 20 some. And they're out there. There's, a, there's 25 out there, 100%. Good thing about this spot right here, you get a little bit more shade on it for a little bit. See how the trees cover it up?
for the bite. Wasn't a big one, luckily, but dude, I don't know what the deal is. I jumped one off yesterday on this thing. At least they bit it, though. I caught a four and a half on it yesterday right here. out guys that's a good one right there that's a nice one all right that was worth the stay I changed positions that's what I did I got on the back side of it I thought I was maybe blocking that that bait from coming in and also it gives it a different position of that that bait coming across that point because they most likely the heron most likely come from this direction come this way so I need to replicate that kind of fish it backwards or kind of probably sitting on top of them. Yes! That's a big one. Hey, hey, we got that thing rolling. We got it rolling, boys. That's what we're talking about, David. Is it on? Is it on, David? It's on, baby. Let's go. Let's go. Dude, this thing was so big. When I got out of the butt, I thought it was a striper. I was like, dang. At first, like, it's two seconds. I was like, dang, it's a freaking striper. Looked like one of those perfect size. And then it, oh my, so I went, no! <laughs> we'll put him over there with his buddy. Uh, 
two eight. <laughs> Look at that. Yeah. Come out. Yeah, yeah. Yes. Wait a minute. You want a picture? Yeah. Alright, that's five, right? That's five. What's the weight? Oh gosh, dude, I just had a bite. He's little. He just barely got that hook though. He's just little. I didn't know how good he was hooked. That trailer hook. Now you know why I put a little trouble on there. Look, that's what got him. And a half. Is that my limit? That's my limit, right? There's big ones here too. Just got sometimes you gotta just get lucky. I found it right here at the boat, dude. He tried to get it. It's a big one, dude. Freaking monster. I can't even pull him. He's about to like break me off in the freaking bushes over there. He's literally against the bank, dude. It's a five pounder. It's a real big one. Uh, yeah, boy. Dude, there was five with it swimming the whole time I was fighting him. Look like black lines in the water. That's awesome, dude. 
<laughs> it's a build a bag program. Let's get let's get let's get a big bag. Let's make the cut and fish on Saturday. That's my goal, man. Tell you what, nice fish like that, Lake Murray. Golly, dude. That's good stuff right there, boys. Give me some of that, Dave. Stop it! Yeah, I figured out something, I think. I got a call, so don't let me forget, but I think I figured out something. You notice how I'm fishing it backwards? Everybody's throws up their downwind. Every bait they've seen has gone that way. And I said, you know, I'm gonna just, I'm gonna give them a different look. You can't throw as far, but it makes them, not, most people aren't throwing that way. Another big one. Another big one, dude. God, there's 10 with him. Oh my God, there's six pounders right there. I'm looking at six pounders, dude. Oh, he's not even big. Dang it. There's six pounders with him. I'm looking at... Mm. It'll help me. It'll help me a little bit. Uh. Still a good call. Yeah, there was ones this long in there. Hundred, like it was swimming along with it. I thought I had that. That's the one I thought I had on. this McCoy. Never caught a turtle on a Cinco. Might bite me. Nah, you can bite me. A lot of work for that fish, you know what? Thank you. Every time. Pretty good upgrade. Need two or three bigger than that. I thought he was bigger than that though. He'll help. Yeah. Bye. 
There you go. I lost this one five times yesterday, dude. This is the one I lost five. I lost it five times. That's a three something. It's a good one, right? Three something. I think that's a three and a half. I think it's three something else. I think it's like three. Yep. Three five. Gain down a quarter is a lot. That puts me at 16 something. One more, one more good uh, coal. We'll fish tomorrow. We'll get another three, four pounder or so. I lost that fish five, seriously five times yesterday, which I'm glad I didn't catch it now because I needed it. It wouldn't have helped me much yesterday. Well, hey, keep with that. He wasn't that big. He wouldn't have helped much. That's the one, if I can get him in, dude. That's a good one. Got her. That helps a bunch. Whoo! The bit, there's two parts to this. There's two parts that's awesome. One part is that we just caught a good one. The second part is we just found a new bait to rotate through the situations. Did we not? Did we not? Dude, they like this thing. All right, guys. I think I think we made the cut. Not 100% sure, but gives us 17 and a half, 18 pounds or so, which is good. And I'm not fishing right now, and you're wondering like, why am I casting? Because they're not busting. When they bust, I'll cast. You don't want to keep showing them the bait. So I'm gonna sit right here. There's 100 fish right there. They come up again. I hope we can catch another good one. But uh, that's awesome. Feels like a big one. I think it's a big one. Nah. I don't think he's going to help me. I just don't know how. 268, so I don't think he's gonna help me. There's one in there. So I need to I need to figure out which one's the smallest one anyway. 337, 330. So I think this is my my call next. Not now.
No, that's a good one. Oh, that's a real good one. A real good one, dude. Look at the belly on that one! Dude. Dude. That's why I was waiting. Look at the gut on that thing. Look at that thing! <laughs> that thing is crazy, dude! It's gotta be four. Just based on he's got a pound of food in his stomach. Oh yeah. Four and a quarter, dude. Four and a quarter gives me another pound. Gives me another pound. Dude, how about that? Okay. Alright, we made it in. That was a little bumpy. Uh, I ran down and made a few casts on the spot just to see if I could get one giant one to bite. Probably hindsight 2020 on that one. I wasted six minutes down, six minutes back. I should have just stayed. Twelve more minutes, I'd probably had this fish blow up at least one or two more times. So that being said, uh, we made the cut. I know that, and um, excited. Hopefully, uh, Canterbury caught them. Hopefully, Matt caught them. Hopefully, they all made the cut. Wasn't that fun, guys? I mean, that was so cool. The little adjustments we made today, staying put on a couple places, catching those big ones. It was that was fun. He's a former progressive Bassmaster Angler of the Year, a two-time FLW Tour winner from Alabama, Scott Canterbury. At 19.6 yesterday, five fish here today. He's 20 pounds, two ounces to take the lead, but right now just focused on staying inside that top 50. Five fish here on day two. 18 pounds, six ounces in second place with 37 pounds, 12 ounces. So a good tournament you're having, 37-12. Unlike a lot of our anglers, I mean, you know you're going fishing tomorrow, and uh, by all reports, people are saying it might be even a little better tomorrow. That's amazing, you know, this South Carolina swing, everybody talked about, we're going to Santee to catch some giants. This place right here has got them. Lake Murray's unbelievable this week. It's pretty amazing. But uh, it's fun out there. You know, I'm not catching a ton of them. I actually been doing a lot of sight fishing, just trying to catch, you know, today I sight fished a bunch, wanted to catch, make sure it might be cut, but uh, might swing a little bit different tomorrow. So we'll see how it goes. I'm just fishing the moment and uh, having fun. Working out pretty good. We look forward to seeing you back here tomorrow. Day two, Lake Murray, just weighed in, man. Had 18 pounds, a little over. So uh, it's a good day again, you know. We're fishing day three, and that's the big thing for here in South Carolina, get the swing going, getting the momentum, but uh, it's been good, you know. I'm not catching a bunch, but got some good bites today. We're gonna get some weather tomorrow. I'm gonna mix it up, see if we can't catch bush 20 tomorrow. Uh, they're there, this lake is unbelievable. Lake Murray is absolutely on fire. Can't wait to get back out there in the morning. What do you, wanna... what do you see the stomach in a second here? Let's bring out another former Forest Wood Cup champion, a two-time classic qualifier from Clewiston, Florida, Scott Martin. At 16-13 yesterday, needs a little better day to get inside our cut. Five fish here today for Scott Martin. 19 pounds, four ounces with 36 pounds in an ounce. Looks like Scott Martin may have done just enough to get back out there on semifinal Saturday. And today's rally gonna be very valuable as this season works out, not just uh, if you make the cut, but also in progressive Bassmaster Angler of the Year point, Scott. Well, no, today was a blessing for sure. You know, I just kept my head down and fished. And, you know, I, I, I mixed it up too much yesterday with sight fish and doing some other things. So I just stayed with what I thought I could get my best five bites bites and it worked out so i had a couple places they fired on today i have no idea what tomorrow is going to bring here's the deal it's all about rotation it's all about getting on a spot where maybe where somebody hadn't been or hadn't been in a while you know but if you get behind somebody you just got to kind of pay attention so as i'm out there fishing i'm constantly scoping around i might look at okay i know there's a school of fish there and there and there and i'm watching okay that place hadn't had a boat in like an hour 
and I'll run over there and they'll bite. But, you know, if you get behind somebody, it's a problem. Well, rotation worked out today, and I hope you get a shot at him again tomorrow. We'll find out. How about that? I don't know if you can see that. Oh, they may turn it that way. 19 pounds today. We did a little survival. That felt good. I was nervous this morning going out. I wasn't sure. You know, when I had 16, almost 17 pounds yesterday, trying to figure out how to catch more than that was, in my mind, a little... Those fish are so finicky, you know? It's like you could, you could catch a big, big bag, or you could catch no bag. And uh, we made some good adjustments today, so I felt really good. I'm so glad you guys got to watch all that. That was so much fun, wasn't it? Uh, I just got word Canterbury caught another big bag, so he's up there. I hadn't seen Matt yet, so I don't know uh, what he has. But I, for Bass Track, I think he's going to make the cut. So if we can all three make the cut, a little house cut. We'll do some house sushi tonight, too. It'll be North Carolina, Matt Airy. 16 pounds and 9 ounces yesterday. Five fish here today. Needs a little better day to get inside the cut. Actually needs 16.9 exactly to get inside the cut currently. A little better day to stay there. And he's done that 18 pounds even with 34 pounds, 9 ounces. He moves into 39th place currently. I hope it's enough to go back out there tomorrow. You know, you can always look at those standings on day one and then you can double it in your head. And they used to say you could always minus a pound. Well, that was back in the FLW days when we had 200 boats, and this is the Elite Series. There's 100 guys, and they catch them every single day. And I, they actually might catch them better today. So, uh, fingers crossed, we're going to go back here and just uh, just hope and pray. And, uh, Lord willing, we get to go out there again tomorrow. This lake is fishing absolutely amazing. It's You know, I fished this lake off and on for since I was in high school, and I, I, you know, over 20 years. And I actually got to see this lake cycle from a grass, a deep grass lake, and it was unbelievable, then 30 pound bags. And it did a complete 180. The grass got eliminated. The heron showed up. So you can imagine the cycle that this lake's been in, and it's still kicking out gigantic weights. This lake is unbelievable. It's as healthy as I've ever seen it. And man, hopefully we get a shot to go tomorrow. We uh, sacked up about 18 pounds a day and slid into the cut. I think we're in like 47th, 48th place. Um, nowhere to go but up tomorrow. The lake's fishing unbelievable. I don't know if y'all hear that, but that's, I mean, it makes me want to dance. No, I ain't dancing. <laughs> uh, that's Kid Rock. That's old school kid. Isn't that what that's playing? Yeah, old school Kid Rock. But uh, but anyway, yeah, we get to go fishing on day three, and I think it's a house cut. I believe it's a house cut. Is that right? Yeah, it's a house cut. All right, all three of us going fishing on day three, baby. Let's see if we can't crack a top ten. I call it 5'8 and 312 off of one bed. <laughs> Dang right. Listen. This day, Drew Benton caught 23 off the bed today, off the ones he didn't know about. You know what I caught him on? And I'll tell you what works on them herring fish, too, and y'all will laugh. <laughs> Take that shad shaped worm and baby bass, put it on a six pound line with no weight on it. Nose hook it. Are you serious? I caught three off of points on that thing. It's hard to throw and it's hard to fit, but them fish were this deep, them big ones, and if you threw anything up there that made a splash, it wasn't. So work. you could see them and get them to bite. Huh? You could see them and get them to bite? Yeah, sight fishing. No, 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 not them. I'm talking about the two big bait fish. Oh. Caught both of, I caught my 5.8 and a 3.12 on that stupid thing on six pounds. Which you caught some on point doing it too? Huh? Yes, just letting it free fall. Now, it, it's a pain in the butt to fish now. You throw it out there on a six pound line and you just got to sit there with it. And then you just kind of just twitch. Just, when, you, when you twitch it, you got to twitch it like this. Did you catch a good one on it? No, I caught three two and a half pounders on it. But they'll bite it. Like it's the stupidest looking thing. It just sits there in the water like this. I ain't got my four left. Shed shit worm. I ain't got nine. Oh my gosh. You catch them on a four oh, Scott? Caught one. Wind's gonna blow tomorrow, they're gonna bite it tomorrow. Yeah. I caught it. What's light. the wind tomorrow? I like this, ain't it? 15 to 20. Out of what direction? Southwest? I don't know. I'm just gonna run it with the wind and come back. Just finished up dinner. We had sushi tonight. We did a little sushi cut. Uh, we, we ate the sushi here in Chapin. It wasn't bad. It was it was okay. I've got to figure out how to uh, catch 23 pounds tomorrow to make the cut. So, is that doable? I think it's very doable, to be honest with you. The wind's going to blow a lot tomorrow. It's going to change things up. It's going to hurt some people, help some others. It is what it is. So, well, we made the cut, guys. We're going to go out and we're going to have some fun tomorrow. How fun was that today? Was that cool or what? I mean, I'm so glad that we had all the cameras today, those top water bites, the flute bites, all that cool stuff. So, Canterbury okay, has uh, a little bit more than me. Matt has a little bit less than me. I'm right in the middle. Uh, and we're gonna close this video out. And we're gonna go to bed. We're gonna get ready and we're gonna start a whole another video tomorrow. So guess what? Another video coming on the channel, guys. This will be day three video coming. Lake Murray, and I was pull off something special, guys. Good night. Love you. Bam!